Yo, what's going on guys? This is your boy Rips, aka your favorite YouTubers, favorite YouTuber. But today, guys, oh we mama do I have a video for y'all today. Today we're gonna react to why I'd rather eat a cactus than go into the ocean. If you guys don't know, the ocean is a very, very scary place, guys. Like that shit is fucking like it's really black Air Force energy down there all the time. Like if you, like you guys know, I know my fellas out there can relate with me. When you're talking to a new girl and you don't really know what to say to her, you say to her, would you rather explore space or the ocean? I'm an ocean dude. The ocean is fucking scary, my nigga. If you don't know what the hell is down there, you're gonna know after this video. You're gonna know why that shit is fucking barely explored because there's demons down there. But anyways, before we get in the video, make sure you guys leave a like for the YouTube algorithm and for the channel. Y'all love me. Y'all see me. Y'all love me. Thank you. Uh, make sure you guys leave a subscription or subscribe, as people say, um, so you guys can help me get to 1,000 subscribers. We're almost there. We got a lot of subscribers yesterday. We're on a roll right now. My channel is doing actually really good right now, so I appreciate everybody that's subscribing to the channel and watching my videos. Make sure you guys put on the post notification bell so you guys don't miss any uploads because we'll upload almost every single day. I know my weekend schedule is iffy, but... My nigga, I need some free time for myself. <laughs> like, come on, come on, yeah, y'all gotta give me weekends at least, at least weekends off. Um, but yeah, guys, that's really all you gotta do. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, post notification. Oh, and comment down below what you guys want to react to because I'm running out of ideas. Like, help a brother out, my guy. Thank you very much. Um, but I'm not gonna waste too much of your time. Let's get into this scary shit. All right, here we go. Why did I throw a cactus before I go into the ocean? This is by Casual Geographics. This link will be down below. You guys probably seen them on TikTok. Um, that's why I seen them. Um, but full screen is a bit. Let's get into this shit. You'll ever see in the ocean. Turn this up a little bit. There we go. That thing is actually a big fin squid, and it's believed to grow up to 26 feet long. 26 Scientists feet? Believe they hunt by dragging those freakish arms across the ocean floor, snatching up anything unlucky enough to accidentally brush up against it. But by far the scariest thing about this hell squid, we know almost nothing about it. You see what I'm talking about? You see what I'm talking about? We don't know nothing about there. There's probably more shit down there that we don't know. I gotta realize how big the ocean actually is, my nigga, bro. If all we know for sure is that you can find them at the very bottom of the ocean at depths of up to 15,000 feet, which is more than half the height of Mount Everest. Let me Everest. make sure this is up. Here's the part that personally freaks me out. Every big fin ever caught was a juvenile, and since no adults have ever been captured, it's possible they can be even bigger than we thought. This oh, These slender man's arms are covered in tiny suckers, meaning once it grabs something, there aren't a lot of things strong enough to break free. Those arms can be over 90% of their total body length, and they hold it at a 90 degree angle, which makes this violation against nature look like it's T-posing. As technology improves, we might have a chance to learn more about them. Which isn't a good thing. They need to stay in hell. Well, facts, but they slow. My nigga! Who the fuck? Yo, the ocean is wacky, bro. Real facts, but they slowly get more and more disturbing. Get more and more Let's, see. disturbing. Let's see this Blue shit. Blue can produce 400 gallons of baby batter, but only 10% of it makes it to the female. Hold on, hold on. Before I continue, like... Yeah, I know the largest whale is. I think it's a blue whale, I think, or some shit. I don't know. Whatever the largest whale is. Like, you would think that shit eats animals and shit. That shit, eat, that shit eats fucking krill, my nigga. Like, why are you that fucking big eating fucking dicks, bro? Like, what the fuck? Like, eat, eat a fucking shark or something, my nigga. Like, come on. Get dumped back out in case you're wondering. That's eight and a half bathtubs of whale maker. Gray whales that's will disgusting. go three-player with two males and a female. While the first male is getting his rocks off, the second wing whale will swim underneath the female and help hold her in place for a process that can last up to an hour. The train and a reminder, almost every sea monster story ever told was really about a whale's penis, and I will never let y'all forget it. Sperm whales are so loud that their sound can vibrate you to death by either causing your lungs to collapse or an air bubble to form in your brain, which would instantly take you off the senses. That's blue fucking whales are crazy. Big, but not a lot of people understand how big. You can hear a blue whale's heartbeat from a little more than two miles away. They can swallow Yo? almost half a million calories at once. Allegedly, a whale's fart bubble can enclose a full-grown horse. And because I am who I am, I have to tell you that the largest blue whale penis was about 16 feet long and weighed anywhere from 7. A 16 foot long pee pee, bro. My nigga, can you give me some inches, my nigga? Like, I'm at, I'm at about one, one and a half. Like, this nigga got 16. Like, come on, bro. And that shit weighs 700 pounds. Like, Yo, <laughs> that, 
That whale is lucky whoever got that. I'm not gonna hold you. 700 to 900. No, no, let me stop playing with you. spray water out of the blowholes the way you see in movies. It's actually warm air being forced out of the lungs. It's basically its breath. It's one of the most unholy smells that can ever assault your nose. Ew. Like burning rubber in a fish cemetery. Because of that video, there's now people that believe the ocean is salty because of whale sperm. And I'm not gonna lie, I wish it were true because of the look on people's faces when I tell them this is free therapy, but it isn't. Most of the ocean salt comes from rocks on land because when acidic rain hits the rocks, it erodes them and causes them to release salt. The salt gets carried out in streams and rivers where it eventually oh. reaches the ocean. The reason the ocean is so salty is because this has been happening for millions on billions of years. Some of the salt also comes from hydrothermal vents at the bottom of the ocean, but most of the time when you taste seawater, the salt came from a rock, not a whale that already has. So yeah, you don't have to worry about Sheesh. salty seawater. Besides, you should probably be more concerned with the fact that your perfume used to be made from whale vomit. Huh? The more you know. Fish you should be most afraid of isn't the shark. It's the stonefish because it can deliver venom power. I saw this video. This shit is fucking toxin crazy. To activate your life insurance in less than two hours. This fish is armed with a venom called verucotoxin. As a neurotoxin, it shuts your body down from the inside. If you got stung, you would first feel incapacitating pain, swelling, and eventually numbness. That's but no worries. Crazy. It, gets worse. it always gets worse. If you don't get medical attention fast enough, the poison would destroy tissues in the body, cause uncontrollable twitching and shaking, and eventually paralysis, meaning it would get harder and harder to breathe until you eventually black out. Victims describe the pain as getting continuously hit with a sledgehammer all over the body, and even if you survive, you could still walk away with permanent nerve damage and muscle. This shit lacking. is different. But there's two big reasons why this Satan guppy might be the most dangerous fish on earth. One is this picture. Because the stonefish looks like a stone, it's so easy to accidentally step on one, and when you do, those spines would get shoved up your foot, and the harder you step, the more poison gets pumped into you. Damn. And number two, they can survive outside of water for up to 24 hours, meaning they don't have to be underwater to put you underground. Because Australia is the only place where mistaking a fish for a stone can get you to death penalty. You should never pick this shell up Thank because you, that's it's actually one of the most venomous things on the planet. That's because the cone snail can shoot you with a harpoon at 400 miles per hour. What? That would be like getting struck by 14 Usain Bolts because ironically this snail is one of the fastest animals on the planet, being able to hit you almost as fast as you can blink. That's not the only thing fast about them because this murder slug was nicknamed Cigarette Snail because according to urban legend, if you got hit by one, you had enough time for a puff puff pass before you puff puff pass away. If you got stung, you would immediately feel extreme pain, swelling, numbness, and vomiting. But don't worry, it gets worse. It would escalate to muscle paralysis, double vision, and difficulty breathing. And once you get to that what point, you can go ahead and stop What the fuck be happening in the beyond. ocean? And even though the cigarette thing... Like, God decided, yo... I'm gonna make that shit. I'm gonna make that shit. That shit is gonna be a demon. It's gonna kill everything in its way. Like... Why? Why, God? Why did you make this? Did... You gotta... A hit out for me or something or anybody like what is the significance of this fucking animal besides killing niggas bro it was an exaggeration it could take only five to eight hours for them to connect you to god's wi-fi now the problem Wait. with these snails is that they use venom to paralyze unlucky prey and they'll even put them to sleep with a toxin that's a thousand times more powerful than morphine which works on fish fuck? and stupid people that pick them up they don't just use one though, like Tyson, they be on them combos. They can have 50 different toxins in their venom, which is why there is no antidote. The only cure is to try not to die and become a Snapchat member. Well, your child can oh visit this is why, and I'm, this is, I'm black, so I can say this. This is why black people don't get in the fucking ocean. No racist shit. Like, this is why, like, we don't want to die. We got enough to deal with on land. We don't want to deal with shit in the water you know what i'm saying this shit is crazy bro i'm just joking by the way so don't take it serious but yo Bungles, grassy plains, and what the, the fuck bro the i should probably explain what the hell this is that was an angel shark and that's the worst call of duty player you'll ever meet the angel shark will lie motionless for days waiting for anything bite-sized to accidentally pass above its head so it can take its life sounds like a cheat code but there's no referee in the ocean so this camel shark stab pets kills like no other but you don't have to worry about them snatching up your leg because they're only interested in fish crushing up okay, the good. squid. That being said, angel sharks are a lot like electrical power sockets. They're only dangerous if you're stupid enough to poke them. Now you would think Literally. that's common sense, but because these sharks stay perfectly still, scuba divers think it's a good idea to touch them and that makes these sharks go from mannequin challenge to homicide. Luckily, attacks are rare and as long as you're not an idiot, this sea carpet won't fade you. Nigga, leave this shit alone. Because there's a shark in this picture and he may not be an angel, but he'll turn you into one. Eight reasons why this is your new favorite fish. Even though they can be up to 23 feet over 3,000 pounds, they're 100% huh? perfectly harmless to people because they only ever eat plankton and small okay, shrimp. Okay, good. Unlike stingrays, they're not venomous. This giant placemat couldn't hurt you if it wanted to. They're smart enough to understand mirrors because manta rays were seen waving and blowing bubbles at their own reflection. Something they wouldn't do if they thought it was another manta ray. Manta rays will launch themselves out of the ocean and they do it to get rid of parasites or to avoid predators. But sometimes it seems like they do it this just for fun, fun, bro. They this have the largest lit. brain of any fish, making them arguably the smartest things in the ocean that don't also belong on a list with Cosby. That isn't a TV guy. 
Baby manta rays are called pups and a mother will give birth to one or two pups every year. They're normally black, a dark brown, or a grayish blue, but there are pink manta rays out there. And no, Aww. this is not edited. This pink manta ray was found off the coast of Australia on the Great Barrier Reef, proving that that country is both a national treasure and Satan's jungle gym. They're Literally. smart enough to form strong emotional bonds with each other and are smart enough to ask for help. One repeatedly approached the diver until he realized that she had a fish hook stuck under her eye and she waited patiently as he removed it. Once he removed it, she swam off. What would happen if you took one of the meanest animals in the ocean and gave it legs? Well, two things. One, you'd have What's one of the, the most violently animal? aggressive animals on Earth walking on land. And two, I know this because it technically Isn't that happened a... and they exist. It's a known fact that the biggest menace to society in the ocean are dolphins uh, of dolphins? any kind. They jump sharks for no I mean, reason. Do orca is a dolphin, and they have a rap sheet longer than Drake's. And the worst dolphin of all actively tortures other animals for sport. See, there dolphins you go. and whales are part of a group called cetaceans, which basically happened because this guy decided he wanted to test his luck out in the ocean and evolved to become semi-aquatic and then fully aquatic. But funny story, there was a group of these land animals that actually stayed on land and about 54 million years ago they split up with the animals that would become whales and dolphins heading out to sea. The ones that didn't follow them out into the ocean stayed on land and after millions of years of plot development they went on to become one of the most vicious animals in the world. In case I haven't made it obvious, I'm talking about hippos. The African Fucking homicide hippo. horse is actually the closest living relative of whales and dolphins. One's a bipolar tank with Roy Ridge and a devil's overbite, and the other's a pufferfish abusing shark assaulting sea quagmire, and that is f***ing evolution. Remember that Yo, that's sound just crazy, just that thinking about that. Like you know what the f*** I'm talking about. Well, that sound didn't actually come from a dolphin. It was actually the sped-up laughter of the kookaburra. It's a kingfisher bird found in Australia that sounds like a guy trying way too hard to laugh at a cute girl's jokes. <laughs> You may not be able to hear it, but when you double the playback speed, you can hear the sound that cartoons made you swear was a dolphin. Yo! Moral of this video, every dolphin sound effect you've ever heard on every TV show is really just an Australian crack tweet. Yo, this shit is crazy, bro. This is why I would not. I, I, not like, I go to the beach, I might put my feet in the water and shit, but you'll never see me get in the water and have the water go past my knees. That's just me. One, because I don't know how to swim, number one. Like, I used to take swimming classes. I fucking failed them, bro. How the fuck you fail swimming classes, bro? But on a real shit, and number two, this shit is dangerous, bro. This shit is fucking dangerous. Like, literally, y'all see, like, t after this video typing scary ocean facts, you'll see a bunch of new shit that you probably didn't know before. And all, all these fucking animals that are just out there crazy and there's probably so much more that we don't know about that's why the ocean is so interesting and shit but um yeah i'm not fucking with the ocean I, like i said i'd rather explore to, like if i if i could be a mortal and i can like do everything have superpowers i can go explore either space or the ocean i'm gonna explore the ocean bro this shit like if i go to space i'm gonna look at a bunch of fucking rocks and gas bro if i go to the ocean i'm gonna see some goddamn great colleagues down there some shit anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, make sure you guys leave a like for your boy. These shits are scary. If you guys want me to more, react to more um, casual geographic, let me know down below in the comment section. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys put on the post notification bell and all that other stuff. I should have a video out tomorrow for you guys, so stay tuned for that. Um, but I'm going to see you guys when I see you guys. Peace. Man down, man down, you could get ran down, ran down I got the bands now, bands now, she let me fuck, she a fan now You could get hit, but it stay down, know they be broke, but they stay loud We don't grow up from the same ground, they all the ground for the fame now